big. We have, uh, last week we had something really exciting happen, and uh, it happened at 11, but we needed it to be shared with you. And that is something that we're doing with, uh, as a church that is an established, strong, united Methodist church, helping where there have been significant disaffiliations. And that place that we are connected with is the community of Gatesville. Now, that's quite a ways away from here, northwest, northwest of Austin, I mean, of, uh, of Temple. And uh, it is a, uh, uh, it's a group that, that has formed. They're called the Gatesville United Methodist. And they have been connecting with us. Jessica and I have been with them. And they are, uh, the, so we are, we are adding our strength to help them. And several of them showed up last week to worship with us and to, to be introduced. So we're going to play this video for you. So we have a, a very special gift today. Um, it was um, some time ago, can't remember the exact time, that uh, we, uh, I had actually been part of the uh, speaking on behalf of the United Methodist Church and various churches uh, that were discerning disaffiliation from the, from the UMC. Um, one of those churches was First United Methodist Church in Gatesville, which connected me with some people who were staunchly UMC. And when their church disaffiliated, they formed a group and they reached out to us. So, uh, so I've had multiple conversations with Mary Ann, but I want our Gatesville Methodists to all stand up and come up here. So, they, so share with us. Share with us, Marianne, who you are. Good morning. The, it is so wonderful to come to a church and um, feel like you belong. And you are that. So please know that. And, and uh, we're just happy to be here. We took a little field trip together. Joy, you're way back. <laughs> we are from Gatesville, not a very large town which has one Methodist, one United Methodist Church a couple of years ago. And um, Jeff came and spoke to, at some of the meetings that, or one meeting, I think, mm -hmm. and f which uh, he was speaking about why not to disaffiliate, where we had heard once or twice before why it sh the church should have disaffiliated. He struck me as that's the kind of church preacher I want. So anyway, that later on, uh, we got to talk about a lot of things, but um, we're just so thankful that um, after the sadness of actually losing our church, and it hurt, and it still hurts, but we're trying to rebuild because we have friends who believe what you believe and what we feel like United Methodist doctrine and beliefs are and we want to share that let me introduce please my yes. friends here this is leanne briley hi <laughs> uh marianne uh, caught me in the grocery store one day uh, what over a year ago oh, a couple of years ago okay it was shortly after our church disaffiliated and we of course had the same views and were strongly against us disaffiliation uh, but lost in the end. So it was a grieving process that we went through. Um, and I thought, you know, I've walked away from my church, but when Jeff came and Jessica came to uh, my house and talked to us that night, you told me, no, your church left you. And so that's, that really changed my point of view. Uh, but we, we talked and started um, thinking about an Oasis group and uh, Jeff and Jessica kind of led us down the path we needed to, to organize it, and so that's what we've done. So, so the, our group started in the vegetable aisle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is Joy Brookshire. She was a lifelong member of the church in Gatesville and actually lived here. I did. Methodist since birth. You can have it. Okay. <laughs> don't do well with these. I really kind of like them, though. Uh, yes, I lived in Georgetown for 20-something years until I moved back to Gatesville, which was my home. And I've been there 17 years, and it's, wow, I can't believe I've been back home that long. But it is saddens me that my church that I grew up in, that gave me the, so many of the values that I have, uh, chose their path 
but I'm so glad to be part of this group that is choosing a different path. And thank you so much for having us today. This is, this is Tom Lee, my husband, mm -hmm. and this is our daughter, Bethany, Bethany Bond. You want to say anything? Hi. <laughs> Hi. Bethany grew up in our church, was baptized in our church, our former church, went to preschool in the church. It's hard. I know you understand that, but uh, Tom, Tom is always ready to speak. <laughs> <laughs> we were married in that church. Yes, yeah. Um, I'm, I just disagree with the way that other church went, and I'm going the right way. We now meet in a room connected to the J&M barbecue restaurant. We have supper, and then we have our group. We have a worship leader. And uh, we have other members. I guess this is about one fourth of our congregation right here. So, pretty good percentage of good those percentage. who came. But some wanted, more wanted to come, and we will come back another day. And I just want to thank everyone. Jessica, you were there the night that you, you and Jeff served us communion for the first time in a while. And uh, y'all just mean a lot to us already. Thank you. So, how we're just so you, the church, know, we have taken an official position in terms of hosting, of being a foster, foster church for this new emerging church that is the Gatesville United Methodist. And so you will see sometimes they are on our Facebook feed. Uh, we get comments from them. They, have, um, the, they are following us online a good bit. And uh, we are those, though, who are here to help them maintain a strong United Methodist presence in the area of Gatesville, Texas. So you, church, this is your church as well. So thank you. Thank you all very much for being here. Thank you.